Congress of the United States. And every single day since then, in the honor of our lives for Jill and me, every day we've been grateful to Barack and Michelle for asking them to join us and join them in that incredible journey. We not only have worked together, as it becomes pretty obvious, we become friends. We're now family. We're family. Oh, we've all seen over the last eight years what President Obama means to this country. He's the embodiment. Yeah. He is the embodiment of honor. Resolve the character. One of the finest presidents we have ever had. Got a good memory. No delegation, as they say in southern Delaware. Huh? Rock and I married way up. <laughs> yeah, I don't know that, man. But I remember your face. Man. As I stand here tonight, I see so many friends and colleagues like my buddy Chris Dodd from the Medic delegation. So, so many people. I see the faces of those who uh, will place their belief in Barack Obama. So many faces, but one. This is kind of a bittersweet moment for Jill, for me, and our family. In 2008, she was about to deploy to Iraq, and again in 2012, our son Bo introduced me to the country and placed my name in nomination. You got a glimpse. You know it's not what you got. You got a glimpse. What an incredibly fine young man Bo was. Willow Grove, and my down in Willie Tennant, Plymouth. 
the kid in Claymont with the most courage, always jumped in when you were double teamed or your back was against the wall, but became a cop because he always wanted to help you. The middle daughter, the three daughters, who always made her mother smile, who was a hero to her sister, now a major in the United States Marine Corps because, Mr. Press President, I wanted to serve my country. The teacher, the teachers who still know, who so many of you know, who take money out of their own pockets Amen. to buy pencils and notebooks for the Think about everything you're worth. 
as a child, no matter where you were raised, how can there be pleasure to save your life? He's trying to tell us he cares not to the fact give me a break. That's a bunch of a lot.
our peers, but they never succeeded because we do not scare easily. We never bow. We never bend. We never pray when confronted with Christ. No, we endure. We overcome, and we always, always, always move forward. The 21st century is going to be the American century. Yeah.